Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Welcome to an exciting video. Today, we are taking a look at the 2022 award winner presented by RV News Best Travel Trailer for 2022. This is the 2022 Sport Trek Touring Edition, model 343 VIB. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things you love about the Sport Trek and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again, I am super excited today to be taking a look at this Sport Trek Touring, something we haven't had on the show before, but both Will and I are very familiar with this product and we're really excited to show everybody. But before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! What the heck's going on? Well, we're still here in Ohio at Cole Wren Family and I'm so excited to take a look at this. Like you said, I don't think we've ever had one on the show. And Sport Trek Touring is like a high earn edition as well. Well, this is so, like a fifth wheel that's built on a travel is, trailer chassis. Is. I'm excited to show it. Guys, this is a badass travel trailer. Can't wait till you guys see the inside. Will, let's begin. All right. Model is 343 VIB. The actual tip tip length is 38 feet 2 inches. The dry weight is 8,710 pounds and the hitch weight is 1200 pounds now will that's a lot of weight it is <laughs> i'd say you shouldn't be towing this with a half ton right there is a segment of the market that can i'd say you'd be a lot better off with a three-quarter ton truck i would agree especially when you load it up and everything especially with this front slide out right yep here. right up front will we do got a power tongue jack propane tanks with a cover does come right there in your battery battery disconnect now check this out this is a beautiful painted and molded fiberglass front cap. So the front wall actually ends here and the side wall and well, there is no front wall. The side wall ends here and this caps over. It's a lot less likely to leak that way. And if you look right up there, Will, that is an awesome front windshield. Coming on down the side here, we do have nice storage pass through, goes all the way through and it is the slam latch door. Look at the bottom, how we got kind of like the rock plate going on. Yeah. And right there, as you can see there, it is the electric stabilizing jacks. I love that. Right over here, here, you can mount a TV bracket and you got power and coax if you care to watch TV on the outside. Frameless windows, just like a fifth wheel and not one, but two power awnings with LED lights. And well, look what they did there. Armless awning right oh. there. Very nice. Coming on down the side here, because it's a Venture RV, we do have the heated and enclosed underbelly with heating pads on the tanks. That's the weather shield. And then right here, well, look at this. It's a place for you to lease up your dog. Also, it's a beer opener. Psh, America, hell yeah. Rocking and rolling right there. I love that. And then here, we do have the more ride steps right there. Cool. Coming on down the side here. Well, what the heck's all this white crap? I don't know. Freaking Poland. Look at these tires, Will. They're the Goodyear Endurance tires. I love those. Nice. They are the ST225-75 R15. Very nice. Coming around the back here. Uh-oh. Dang that, but Will, they got it all, all messed up and jacked up here. All right, we got a nice kitchen on the outside. Our vision. It's this it tree the, here. This tree, yeah. The heck is it? Right here is the R Vision little mini fridge right there. Okay. Suburban cooktop in oh. a nice sink that is plumbed through. Very nice. Yes, sir. Not bad. Not a bad outside kitchen. Gonna go around now. I don't know, man. Jeez. This crap's every. Oh, Will, give me the camera. <laughs> look at you. Will, you look like you're in a Frozen movie. Because when you close the door... Oh, everything it, came up. Yeah. Yeah, let's go around to the other side. Okay. There you go. Other side, Sir William. Not a lot going on here because there is a ton of slide outs. Here's the other side of that front storage. All right, look at this. Front bedroom slide. So this connects. Doesn't connect, but this is very nice storage. Okay. 
Here's where you're dumping your black and gray tank. Right there. Water heater right there. Very nice. And then back here, you can see the bunk windows. That's interesting. Only oh. the front are electric. No, those are electric too. That's oh, the that's manual override. The override. Okay. Yep. Uh, black tank flush, 50 amp connection, docking station. I don't think you're getting up on that ladder. Well, a hundred freaking dollars for me if I could do that. And I'm not going to make a hundred dollars. Uh, you got the ladder right there. Prep for a Furion backup camera. There is a hitch for a bike rack and then the bumpers right there. Same situation as last time. I will touch on this bumper a little bit later. Well, you okay. don't know about that bumper, but Jen and I discovered something about that bumper. We'll mention it a little bit later. Okay. Well, well, the outside of the sport track looks great, but truthfully, it is the inside that looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Get out from all this uh, thing I'm gonna do. Right. Check it out, Will. All right, starting up front, you have an awesome bedroom. Nice bathroom in the middle. Kitchen. Oh God, we couldn't make it. Dining area, living area here. And bedroom in the back, or bunk room in the back. Well, we're actually gonna start with that bunk room because guys, there's one thing that I love about it. So many times travel trailers are giving you that huge rear bunk room and then the paying customers, they have to suffer. Right. So this unit's for them and we will show you that in just a few moments. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by Lipper. Did you guys know Lipper does so much more than axles and chassis? They actually make a whole bunch of RV lifestyle aftermarket products. I have three chairs that I want to show you guys today. The first chair is the super popular zero gravity chair. This chair, you can lean all the way back, you can relax it, you can... You, you, you just feel like you're in space with zero gravity. It's an awesome chair, and I know that's one of the best sellers. Then there's my personal favorite, which is a traditional fold-up chair. What I do like is that the all four stay sturdy, but you can pitch the back back so you can lock into your favorite place. And then finally, Will's favorite chair, the Big Bear chair. This is good for all the big guys out there or anybody who just wants an extra large chair. Thank you so much to Lipper for sponsoring this video. We actually have links down below on where you can pick up some of these chairs. Let's continue the video. All right, well, small back bedroom area. This is literally just for sleeping. It's not for living. But look at what they got going on here. They still managed to get four beds. Oh, snap, this one can flip up out of the way. Truthfully, I don't understand the point. Maybe to put something here during transit. Yeah. Um, but you got a bed here, bed here. That one lifts too? Does not. Okay. And then look what they got going on here. Okay, they got USB for all the children. Nice. Look at that, and that's nice looking. And it lights up blue, so you'll be able to find it without waking everybody up in the uh, in the room. Oh, look, this flips up as well. Kind of weird. I don't understand. Like, don't get me wrong. I love flip up beds. But I don't understand. It's necessary for this. And what are you, like, what are you getting? Right. Unless, like, if somebody's sleeping here, then. Yeah. Interesting. All of them hold 250 pounds. And then right here, we, um, there's just a storage back here. Not super great, but it's okay. Again, y'all, this is for the non-paying customers. That's right. You got the ultimate king room in here, which we will so show wait, you shortly. I think you're missing something. Hold oh. Did you see these lips here? And there's an extra mattress? No way. So there must be another platform somewhere to make a big bed. Oh man, that is pretty cool. Yeah. You think it comes with that? I bet it does if it, if it comes with the mattress. Here, maybe does it slide? Like this, yep. Does it? It's got to, right? Or does this side slide? Lift up know. that mattress there. This one? No, this mattress. Just the mattress part. No, that slides out, right? No? Yes, no. Something. Well, yeah. you're 100% right. That is very cool. That is cool. We will figure it out later on in the video. Okay. Over here, 
Now we're in the living room area. Yes, I love this. This is my favorite theater seat for a couple reasons. One, it is incredibly comfortable, right? Very nice. Two, this is what I call a two and a half theater seat. So this right here, you got cup holders and a very nice prism of power. But not only that. I love you, that. Yep, so now if the little puppers wanna hop up on you and lay in your lap, you can. It's also heated and massage seats and something else. Have you noticed this, Will? Top mount USB nice. instead of side mount USB. With side mount USB, you're rubbing up against it, mm -hmm. messing up the connection. This one, you're not. You got very nice storage above, and then another storage right there. And then directly across, you do have this TV here. Very nice TV. You got storage underneath. DVD player right there. Inno flame fireplace. What is nice about that fireplace is it does produce heat from electricity. And then here, I guess this would be pantry space. Nice. Okay. Uh, and then over here, before we show everybody the kitchen, let's do this dinette. There is storage underneath the dinette. Oh, with these little things. That's it. I bet you that's it. That is the platform to make the bed. I love that. And then here's the dinette. It's good. I fit. Truthfully, in this unit, um, it it's almost pointless in this unit to have a dinette because this unit is to bring the whole family. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Regardless though, nice dinette, it does drop down to make a bed. And we got windows all the way around with these types of blinds. Well, Will shows this kitchen. All right. So Matt already showed you the pantry, but very nice there. A nice Furion compressor refrigerator. Yes, sir. More storage right there. Okay. Nice Furion microwave. Yes. I don't know who makes this, but I don't think it's Furion. This is cool. Yeah, a little burnt wood action. Yeah. Very nice. Nice Furion range hood right there. Hood range. And oven. Yes, sir. Solid surface countertops throughout the whole kitchen. Look at that Venture RV spice rack. Yeah, that's nice too. And I almost missed this. Nice little drawer right there. Yes, sir. Storage right over here. Okay. Another venture, Art Deco. Art Deco. This is coffee bar. Yes. Probably not a taco bar. Well, Will, when they forget the cheese, it could yeah, be the taco exactly. bar. Exactly. Nice storage right there. Yes, sir. And here. Very nice. Again, great countertop space here. Solid surface. Nice spray faucet. Single bowl sink. <gasps> couple drawers and some storage under the sink very nice very nice all right well it's now time for the shower test okay and is it hot in here or is it, it just is me wow Mm. This surprises me. This is great. Look at the head height. Well, it does not surprise me, man. This is a beast of a travel trailer. Decent width and depth. I mean, it's a travel trailer. I like the shower door here. This definitely passes. Bing! Oh, I'm sorry. Do that again. Bing! That's a shower test seal of approval. Then since Will's there, let me just sit here. Let me just get this out of the way. Well, this is a prime poop position. Bing! Very nice. Cool. Sometimes we just don't even need to, you know, you can just tell by the way it looks. Right. In a nice sink there, and then a little bit of this action going on here. Awesome. Okay. Now, Will, before we show everybody the bedroom, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now, now time, time for the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. All right, this one's gonna shock some people. Yeah, but it's not cheap, is it? Will, you would win that bet. MSRP on this unit here is $76,950. Will, MSRP. Sale price, I don't know the deal. Maybe this unit just came in. There's no sale price online right now. But guys, there's no way in heck you're paying $70-something thousand dollars for this. 
We are a part of RV Retailer and Souls Coal Rain RV. If you're interested in this unit, please reach out to us. We will reach out to Coal Rain on your behalf and we're gonna make sure you get a great deal, great service, and truthfully, just the best RV buying experience. And Coal Rain is in here, is here in Cincinnati, Ohio. And uh, it's actually a lot nicer than what I thought. It is. Will, yeah. you wanna know what's even nicer than what I thought? That bedroom. That bedroom. I don't know why I handed you the camera. Because we wanna see you. Okay. Will, we wanna see you. There it is, Tiger. Look at this bedroom. Absolutely magnificent. Okay, Will, lay on that bed for America. Okay, it for is the, a queen bed, but... For those of you who are wondering, Will is a little sick right now. Don't worry, it's not COVID, America. Yeah. We've taken like three tests. He is A-OK. -okay. How do you feel there? It's... Well, the mattress isn't the best, truthfully. I mean, no mattresses. I mean, it's not a Brooklyn bedding. Right. <laughs> but the size is really good. Right. I think you could upgrade it for a little bit of a bigger one. Yeah, The nice sure. thing is the slide. Yes. And we do got oh. storage up there with USB and everything. And then over here, Will, could this be... It is, is prepped it? Wow. for a combo washer and dryer. Which, again, America, remember, that's just going to add more to the tongue weight. Over here across, you do got a little bit of hidden storage here. Right here, we do got a uh, fireplace right there that's electric. You got that there, that there, drawers there and everything. And then up here, very nice. Got a nice, love this front windshield. Right. Okay, you got the blue lights in there as well. Storage right here. And then, Will, look at this seat here. Is this not fantastic? It really is. Talk about a place to sit, to tie your shoes, to get dressed, or to just relax. Truthfully, sit here after you get out of the shower, right? And if you're air drying or just taking a minute to pause and reflect, this seat is absolutely incredible. And I love this front windshield. And I love everything about this front bedroom. Well, this is Whatever the sale price is, if it's 50, if it's 60, if it's 70, who knows what the sale price is, but whatever you're paying, the person in this room is the one making that monthly payment and they should be able to have a place where they can hide from their kids or their family members or their spouse and actually sit around and enjoy and just have a few moments of peace and quiet, if you know I what agree. I'm saying. Yeah. And then, no storage underneath there. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give you three things we love about the sport track and three things we just don't like about it. Will, what do we do with first? Three things we dislike. I will go first. Okay. Unless you got something in here. No. Okay. I don't think so. Okay. Um, I will go. I will give you number one and number two. Okay. So number one, well, I don't like these beds. I don't like the way they flip up. I don't like how the weight capacity is 250 pounds. And truthfully, Will, even though this connects, which I love the concept, if these beds are holding 250 pounds, what's the middle holding? Right. You know what I'm saying? Don't like that. Don't trust it. Um, I don't like it and I don't trust it. Okay. That's dislike number one. Will, dislike number two is that bumper, okay? Okay. So Jen and I, we reviewed a Venture RV Stratus. Right. That Stratus was 29 feet, 10 inches. It did the same thing with the bumper. Or no, it was 31 feet, 10 inches, right? It did the same thing with the bumper, but it kept it at 31 feet, 10 inches instead of like 32 feet or right. 32 feet, one inch. This unit, you're already huge. Right. Give me a bumper that I can actually step on. And especially with how high that ladder was, come on, man, you gotta be a gymnastics guy to do that, to climb up there. That is dislike number two. And then, Will, give me dislike number third. Um, give America a number three. I'm going to do a combo because it's little things, but obviously the carpet, you guys know we hate that. Womp womp. And the carpet on this side. Double womp womp. With the uh, toe kicker right there. Snap, nap. So. And, Will, if you're doing little combos, if you're doing like a five-star Michelin restaurant, yeah. like take li little meals, uh, let's add the floor vents as well. True. Yep. You know, not a big deal, but if you're gonna if you're gonna say it, then I'm gonna say it. Okay. Well, well, that's three things we don't like about it. Now for the easy part, three things we love about it. Would you like to go first? Sure. Um, but let's save the best for last. You think? Yes. I love how they did two awnings and how combo that with the 
armless awning on the second awning. Super smart. Because that is the one you hit your head on, truthfully. Yep, absolutely. That. That's number one. Will, number two, please. Opposing slide outs yes. in the living room. Guys, this is like a rear living room travel trailer, right? Yeah. But it's still a bunkhouse. I love that. I want to give a third, a third like, and then a fourth like. Okay. Third like, that shower is pretty impressive. It is. We can give it some accolades for that. <laughs> and then finally, Will, number four is going to be the whole dang master bedroom. Right. This master bedroom is fantastic. I, I love the bed. I actually wish it was a king bed, but I'm okay with that. Love the fact that you get the wash dryer, fireplace, storage, seat up here on the front windshield. Will, this unit is knocking it out of the park. It is. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys, absolutely everybody, so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this Venture Sport Trek touring, please go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com, and fill out the contact tab. If you're ready to buy, we are a part of RV Retailer which is a nationwide network of RV dealerships. So, Will, we don't sell this in Florida. Right. But you might have to come up to Ohio. But guess what happens when it breaks on you? You can still get it serviced in Florida, right? Absolutely. That's the way it works. You got to pick these up where we sell them. And we don't sell them at too many locations, but we service them at every location. That's so, right. again, go to mattsrvreviews.com, fill out that contact tab. We're here for you. Will, is there anything you want to say? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Again, this floor plan is awesome. Venture makes some great units. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much yes, for watching. And Will, we'll see you next time.